Hi, my name is Jonas with ABC Reagents. We are going to do a how-to video of how to prepare your one gallon concentrate kit. Um, if you have purchased this product, you will have received two sets of A's, one and two, which will prepare each one gallon times two. You will get three bottles of concentrate for reagent kit B, which will prepare one gallon of reagent B, and two bottles for reagent C, which will also prepare one gallon. Included with the kit, we will prepare, provide labels, uh, A, two, two A's, a B, and a C. We are not providing the distilled water. You will need to find four gallons of distilled water, which can be found at any of your common grocery stores, CVS, Walgreens, Walmarts, for example. And it is important that you look at the bottom and make sure that they are made out of HDPE. First things first, put the labels of A onto your one gallon containers, B, as well as C. Safety is important. Have some safety goggles. These chemicals are to be respected. Read all the instructions prior to doing any of this. Uh, safety gloves, chemical resistant gloves should be used and it is advised to wear some long uh, sleeve shirt just in case of any incidental splashing. Okay, so we're gonna start with reagent A. It is very helpful to have a large mouth funnel an empty, clean container. It does not have to be one of these. It can be any empty, clean container. Uh, not required, but I find it useful is to have some type of a spray bottle, squirt bottle used for rinsing in between the reagents with distilled water. Maybe some paper towels as well. All right, first things first for reagent A. I'm gonna open up one of the distilled water containers. I will pour approximately half of it it doesn't have to be exact, but approximately half of it into the clean, empty container. Again, it does not have to be exact, approximately. I'll put the clean container to the side. I will take one of the A reagent bottles that's labeled with A, one. I will then pour it into the funnel. And the instructions indicate to rinse three times with approximately 50 to 100 mils. I'm just gonna estimate. Ultimately, you're just trying to quantitatively transfer everything in here. When you see little to no color, remaining is adequate for rinsing. And I'm just using the remaining water that I had originally poured out as a rinse. So I've done that three, three rinses, swirling. And there's very little color being removed. Okay, that's one. I will now grab A2. Pour the contents into the container. You should notice a color change. I will do the same thing in terms of approximate rinses of 50 to 100 mils. Swirling. And the third one. Then place the cap on the empty rinse bottle, put aside. We'll now do some mixing, making sure the lid is on tight. That's adequate for now. And then, I'm just going to fill and use the funnel, it's a little bit easier, and top it off. And it does not have to be exact, as you will see. I'm estimating. 
You obviously don't want to go over to spill, but just under. Mix again. Mixes better with a slightly larger air gap. Reagent A is now ready. You'll do that a second time, basically repeating those exact, exact same instructions uh, with your second set of A's and your second gallon for A. And we move on to B. Because I rinsed, this is already clean. It is easier if you start with a dry funnel, as reagent B does the, uh, have solids that you're dispensing, and it will flow better if your funnel is not wet. So similar to the first set, we are going to remove approximately half of the water. Again, it does not have to be exact. Put this aside. Take the contents of B1. My funnel. You'll see it's a white powder. A variety of components in here. And I will take the water that we just poured out and do again, just as we did with A several small rinses. Place the cap on this. Then I'm gonna get bottle B2. The liquid. I'm going to pour it in. I'm going to do again three small rinses. Place the cap, we're done with that. And lastly, B3. I'm gonna pour the contents of this in. Rinse three times. Now, before topping off, I'm going to mix. Mixing is extremely important with B and C because we're introducing solids and we need all of these solids to dissolve. Now, because of the color, you're not going to be able to see very easily. So, just doing a good mix for 
at least a minute or two. Longer the better. Eventually, if it's just left to sit there, all the solids will dissolve. But it's nice to have almost everything dissolved initially. And now, I'm gonna top it off. Again, you don't want to overflow it. After mixing, it is a little bit foamy. You might have to wait for the foam to settle a little bit before you can completely top off. And after, again, three to five minutes, might even take longer, you can top it off. It's okay if you don't go all the way to the top. Reagents will still work like this. I prefer the last little bit to be topped off just so I have more reagent. But reagent B is now complete. Basically do the exact same process again with C, except we only have two bottles. So I'll open up my new gallon of distilled water, pour about half of it out. And again, starting with a dry funnel does help the flowability of the solids. And I'll grab reagent bottle C1. Previously did a couple of rinses. Tap that, take bottle C2. Empty the contents in. Again, three small rinses. Cap. Now we mix. Top off distilled water. Again, there could be some foam on this one, so it might take some time for that foam to completely settle as it did with B as well. As you wait for the foam to settle, you can go back to B and top off to save some time.
And it is important to mix after you top off again before using. That's it, the reagents are finished. Thanks for watching our how-to video on how to prepare the one gallon concentrate kit. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out to us, we're happy to help. This has been a presentation of NeverEnds Productions.